Good morning students. Today we will be discussing about stereochemical aspect of nucleophilic substitution reaction. Before we start this topic, there are the few terms which you should know about the stereochemical aspect of nucleophilic substitution reaction. Some basic concept about the optical isomerism. So first one is plane polarized light. You all know that ordinary light consists of electromagnetic waves of different wavelength and it consists of wave having oscillation or vibration in all planes perpendicular to the line of propagation of light. If such a beam of light is passed through the Nicole prism, here in this diagram I have shown it is a light source. Here I have shown the different waves which are oscillating or vibrating in different planes. This light is passed through a prism which is known as the Nicole prism. When the light passes through this special type of prism which is known as a Nicole prism and when the light comes out of it, it has the oscillation or vibrations only in one plane and this light is known as a plane polarized light. When this plane polarized light is passed through the solution of an organic compound, then the plane polarized light can bend towards left or towards the right, towards the right side. If this plane polarized light is passed through the solution of organic compound, it means that we will observe that plane of polarized light is changed. A substance which can change or rotate the plane of polarized light towards right that is in the clockwise direction is called the dextro or dextro rotatory and it can be written as dextro even or by the notation d and if the substance rotate the plane polarized light towards the left then it is known as a levorotatory or levo and or it is donated with small l or negative sign. And such compounds which can rotate the plane of polarized light towards left or right are known as the optically active substances. And this property is known as the optical activity. Now to find out whether an optical, whether an compound is optically active or not, there is a another way. For that we should know about the symmetry or asymmetrical compound. Always you know that asymmetrical compound are optically active. What is asymmetrical compound or asymmetrical carbon? If all the group attached to the carbon are different, such a carbon is known as a asymmetrical carbon or chiral carbon or stereocenter. A molecule which contains an asymmetrical carbon lacks all the elements of symmetry. Hence it is known as a asymmetrical carbon. So what we have discussed here, we have discussed about the polarized light. What is polarized light? A beam of light which has the vibration only in one plane is called the plane polarized light. The substance which can rotate the plane polarized light are called the optically active substance. The property of a substance, this property of a substance to rotate the plane polarized light is known as the optical 